Hi, this is Dr. Chris Harper. Um, just thought I'd make a quick video to show you how I use the Adobe Fill and Sign app to get patients to sign their consent forms directly onto the iPad. Because um, I've had, had a few questions about that. So I'll go ahead and get things set up here. Okay. So the first thing you need to do is to have your consent form. So my consent form is a Word document, so they're in pages here. And there's a few different ways you can uh, use your consent forms in Adobe Fill and Sign, but I find the simplest way is to have your consent form there and take a screenshot of it. So you press the home button and the top button. That saves a photocopy of your form in your camera roll. So now you can go on to the Adobe Fill and Sign app. You can see because I use it every day, I have it down here on my commonly used apps section. And what you then need to do is to create a new form press that one there, you open from your camera roll and you select your last photo which is that one and you can crop it with this section here just to get rid of any bits you don't want such as the header from your iPad, there we go, click done and there we are, that's your form on the Adobe Fill and Sign app, all you might want to do is to rename it by going to view all, select your recent form, click more down here and rename, calling it something like photo consent, there we are. There we go. So that's how you put a form onto the app, quite simple. Let's talk you through how you use the app. So when I'm taking photos, uh, my nurse will be putting the patient's details in here. So they will tap there and put in the patient's name and put in the date down here. You can see that it nicely automatically comes up with today's date, just to make it simple for you. And there we are, it's ready for the patient to sign. So I will take the photos and I'll sit down with the, with the patient and I'll show them uh, this form and I'll talk them through it. So I'll explain what we use the photos for, for the records, for research, for teaching. Make it clear if you are going to put the photos anywhere online that, that you may be doing that and for whatever reason. So I do a lot of teaching via my website and via forums, so I've got that marked. Um, make it clear that you might show the photos to other patients for marketing. Uh, and I've got a section here about whether we use full face photos or photos just of the mouth. So because I don't routinely take many full face photos, I might tick this box here by saying, by marking this box, any full face photos will only be used for your records, but not anything else. The nice thing about this app is it automatically notices these box. So it very nicely, neatly puts a little cross in the box there. Uh, if the patient wants to cross off marketing, they certainly can do that as well. And when the, when the patient has understood all this and they're happy with that, all you do is tap here, click on the signature, create signature, and the patient can sign like that. And there we go. So they've understood it, they've agreed it, they've signed it. All you want to do now is just to save that. I find the simplest way I have with that is just to import with iBooks. That creates a date stamped and time stamped PDF, which is automatically saved here and is also saved on my iCloud. You can go one stage further of uh, offering to email this to the patient if they wish and emailing it to yourself or to the practice manager so it can then be put on the patient's record on the computer. And the only last thing to do is just to go back to the app and just delete the, the patient specific things, delete their signature, uncross that if you need to, delete the signature there. And now it's ready for use for the next patient. So I hope you found that useful. If you have any questions, please do contact me via the forums uh, or via my website. Uh, and if you want to find other tips and tricks, then please do go to my website where I've got a, my blog, which is www.drchrisharper.co.uk.